show is multifaceted. It's about who Fort Worth is and, and about uh, our way of life. And, and it is the chance that everybody, all citizens, participate in the Western way of life during those 23 days. And I think the stock show and the rodeo is the most important thing we have in Fort Worth. And I think it's significant that it happens right after the first of the year because it allows us to look back at our roots and our heritage before we move forward into the new year. The things I like about him are he's just really thin. There's a lot of muscle in that steer. The Fort Worth Stock Show began in 1896, and it's the oldest continuously running livestock show. This and other stock shows across the nation are important contributors to their communities and to the livestock industry. They not only promote the showing and sale of cattle and other livestock, but through demonstrations and exhibits, they introduce people to agriculture, bringing city and country together. We'll take a look at the Fort Worth Stock Show by the numbers. And then later, Kirby Schnorr will show you the great work done by the Fort Worth Stock Show Syndicate and their sale of champions. I'm Pam Minnick, and this is The American Rancher. We'll be right back. Welcome back to The American Rancher. With its livestock exhibits, Pro Rodeo, Trade Show, and Midway, the Fort Worth Stock Show draws nearly a million people and is one of the largest economic generators in a city known as Cowtown. Here's the Fort Worth Stock Show by the numbers. The inaugural Fort Worth Stock Show was held in 1896 up on the north side of the city was the very first stock show in the country and has set historical milestones ever since. In 1908, the new Northside Coliseum became home to the annual cattle show and was billed as the most opulent and dynamic livestock pavilion in the Western Hemisphere. And 10 years later, in 1918, the Coliseum hosted the very first indoor rodeo as a paid contest. Events included ladies bucking bronc, junior steer riding, men's steer riding, and bucking bronco. When the rodeo was added to the Southwestern Exposition and Fat Stock Show, crowds increased. Opening day of the rodeo was the unquestioned highlight of the year for thousands of people. 1944 was a big year of change as the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo moved to its current home at the Will Rogers Memorial Center. And in 1958, the rodeo became the first to receive complete live national television coverage on NBC TV with guest stars Roy Rogers and Dale Evans hosting. And today, during its 23-day run, the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo welcomes more than 1.2 million visitors through the gates annually. This thing is legendary. Two thousand and fourteen marked another outstanding year for the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo with over one million one hundred and thirty seven thousand guests walking through the gates. This represents a less than one percent decrease in attendance, and considering the days of rain, snow, and extreme cold weather, the numbers were outstanding. Everyone loves to shop and the stock show has a bit of it all. 221 vendors, including 29 first-timers, occupied 200,000 square feet of floor space, offering everything from western wear to furniture and tractors. There's obviously a lot going on at the Fort Worth Stock Show, and in 2014, it took 1,949 people to pull it all together. 19 full-time employees and 915 temporary hires joined the 865 volunteers to staff 16 departments and 15 committees. The school tour educational program hosted 93 local organized school groups with 4,866 students and 1,005 adults attending. In addition, 74 schools from Tarrant and surrounding counties were given over 287,000 tickets for free ground admission on two designated stock show days. 
Exposing and educating children to the world of agriculture is one more way the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo works to promote the industry. The number one reason people come to our grounds is livestock. It's the chance where families come out together and really experience agriculture. A main goal of the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo is giving back to the youth in the form of scholarships. 2014 saw $464,500 awarded to 146 recipients in many different categories. In addition, education grants and contributions totaled approximately $349,600. Keeping the stock show in the public eye all year long is quite a task, but with combining fresh website design with a social media presence to our more than 224,000 Facebook fans, we can do it. One of our main goals is to keep the stock show top of mind uh, with our consumers, and uh, to do that we maintain a presence through Facebook, Twitter, um, some of the popular social networks like Instagram, and um, you know try to put in, uh, engaging content out there for them to interact with. This year was our second year to incorporate SCORT into the rodeo and uh, it gives our rodeo fans an opportunity to um, score rides and guest times during the show so they're able to engage with the action. New graphics for apparel, brochures and passes during the event brings a new look each year and with publicity from 45 local, regional and national trade publications, 59 newspaper outlets 18 radio stations and seven local TV stations, the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo lets everyone know this is the place to be. Show entries proves Fort Worth is as strong as ever as we saw over 29,000 of them. And people are willing to travel to compete. The open cattle show exhibitors arrived from 43 states and the 11,973 junior exhibitors was a 4.5% increase coming from 236 counties across the state. You still got Cougars in the lead at 200 pounds at 10 right, 210 to the back, to 210,000. And when it comes to livestock, everyone knows that the auctions are one of the highlights of the stock show. 16 individual sales grossed more than $7.9 million, with the Junior Sale of Champions taking in an excess of $3.3 million on 295 head. The buying groups included the Fort Worth Stock Show Syndicate, Ladies on the Lamb, Tallest Hog at the Trough, Fort Worth Businessmen, You Old Goat, and Women Steering Business. Sold your grand champion steering for $200,000 good. The judging competitions also offered a fantastic opportunity for 41 teams to compete in three intercollegiate judging contests and 164 teams to compete in four judging contests for 4-H and FFA members. And if kids didn't have an animal to exhibit, they still had an opportunity to compete in the show. The art contest boasted more than 1,000 entries from 120 Texas schools, and the Junior Agricultural Mechanics Project Show saw 436 entries from 135 Texas 4-H and FFA groups. The stock show also played host for horse shows of 12 different breeds and associations, from the American Quarter Horse and Paint Horse Associations to approved shows by the National Cutting, Reining, and Rain Cow Horse Associations. There were 5,214 entries, representing a 20% increase over 2013. It's definitely not a glamorous subject, but with this many people and animals, a tremendous amount of waste is created. The Fort Worth Stock Show is proud to be a Progressive Waste Solutions partner, making it possible to divert 1,898 tons, or 80% of the animal bedding, waste, and trash out of the landfills and into the recycling effort. Those are some interesting facts and impressive numbers. We'll learn more about the Fort Worth Stock Show when the American Rancher returns. Welcome back to the American Rancher. The Fort Worth Stock Show continues to impact the city of Fort Worth and the lives of junior livestock exhibitors. 
there are many groups that come together to set and break records at each year's sale of champions. The Fort Worth Stock Show Syndicate has been raising big dollars for junior livestock exhibitors for more than three decades. There's over 100 members in the syndicate and our job is to go out and find individuals or corporations, businesses. Most of them are local to donate money to these children that bring their steers to the uh, stock show every year. Started in 1980 by a small group of guys who wanted to help these kids. These kids were getting essentially market prices for their steers and they thought we can do better. I think the vision or mission is to help these kids throughout the state uh, pursue their agricultural endeavors and also help them get a great education. A lot of the money that is given to these kids for these steers goes towards their education. That's really what this is all about because not only do we raise, for example, this last year we raised over $3 million, we also will give away 10 $10,000 scholarships to kids to help them with their college. We're able to do a lot for these kids. I mean, in five hours, we're gonna raise $3 million we don't keep a penny, every penny goes to the kids. It's really about promoting education, promoting the youth of Texas. The Stock Show is a great event and the Syndicate is great partners with the Stock Show and, and we really help raise the money and bring awareness to the Stock Show itself because the Stock Show is the most important part of the Stock Show and Rodeo here in Fort Worth. And everybody will tell you it's the granddaddy of them all. These kids are going to bring their best steer to Fort Worth because of the money involved. We're just committed to making sure we help these kids in Texas because these are great kids. These are the kids that are going to be the future um, leaders of our country and of our state. And so we want to help them pursue these agricultural endeavors because it's so important to all of us. I think it gives these kids a greater responsibility than, than they would normally have and uh, caring for these animals and then bringing them to the show and, and seeing actually being compensated for their hard work. And that's really what our job is, is to support the stock show and putting on the best sale that we can to uh, reward these kids for all their hard work. These kids crave it. I think they enjoy it and they crave it. It's just, it's, it's, it's something that's in you. It's building their character. You know, it's, it's competitive. And that's great, and I think that that's, you know, that's just another element that they're learning and that, you know, that they get to put that's in them inherently. And I just, I know they're enjoying it. I get to see it every day. You see it every sale. You see it every sale of champions. Look at their faces. Look at the family's faces. Look at the sponsor faces. It touches everybody. It touches all of us. It touches the community. I mean, there's just, it's fantastic. We're so thrilled to be involved. Cattleman Steakhouse has been a supporter of the Fort Worth Stock Show for generations. The city the size of Fort Worth uh, in, in most parts of the country doesn't have the background that we have in the livestock business. And the amount of time that our leaders and everyday walk of life people in the syndicate uh, contribute uh, to this effort is amazing. I mean, anybody that has a dedication to get up before the sun comes up to feed their whatever animal they're raising and then to go to school and come back and do the same thing and uh, day in, day out, it's, um, yes, of course, we're going to learn something. Every year I enjoy going backstage, as we call it, before the, each of the children in, enter the arena and looking at their faces. There's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of apprehension. But once they're in that arena, they know that the members of the Fort Worth Stock Show Syndicate are going to be there to make their day. With over 400 gracious sponsors who recognize the value of their mission, the Stock Show Syndicate has raised more than $38 million for the youth exhibitors of the Fort Worth Stock Show through the years and provided some $800,000 in scholarships for 4-H and FFA members. It seems that every year we have new members come into the organization who bring new energy, um, new sponsors, new buyers. We continue to expand our presence throughout North Texas. And every year uh, we, we go into that sale with a renewed sense of focus and a desire to really see the, the community really support these youth. And, and every year it, it, it outdoes itself. For more than 30 years, the Fort Worth Stock Show Syndicate has been about the business of supporting youth and agriculture. 
It's been a great time, a great work, and a great story of support of the city's grandest tradition. We had a record year of livestock entries in our show. We had 29,000 entries in our livestock show, which is just huge. It's called the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo for a reason. 36 total performances over the 23-day run of the show makes rodeo one of the biggest attractions. 29 PRCA performances, Ranch Rodeo, Best of Mexico, Cowboys of Color, Bulls Night Out, and the newly added Super Shootout combined to give the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo a legendary feel all its own. Rock, stock, and barrel. Ladies and gentlemen, where were you last to see two guys tied at 90? Specialty days including Military Appreciation Day, Cook Children's Day, Dickies Day, TCU Day, and Stock Show Ghost Pink made for crowds as colorful as the performances themselves. One thousand two hundred and fifty-nine cowboys and cowgirls representing twenty-nine states compete for a total purse of more than six hundred and fourteen thousand dollars. New this year was the addition of a very unique specialty act which showcased a cattle drive, gunfight, and a full-on Old West saloon brawl. There's no doubt, the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo is legendary and will continue to set records and historic milestones for many years to come. As large as our show is and as complex with all the cattle shows and the horse shows and um, commercial exhibits and, and midway and so forth, rodeo, um, there's a lot of little details in all that planning and scheduling. And so it takes us a great deal of time to work about the next year. We're actually having discussions on 2016 items now while we're finalizing 2015. We hope you enjoyed today's program on the Fort Worth Stock Show. We want to thank Lee Schneider and Creative Ammo Media for the great video presentation on the Fort Worth Stock Show. And a big thank you to the folks at the Fort Worth Stock Show Syndicate for the great work they're doing for junior livestock exhibitors. For more information about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or check us out on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick, and I'll see you next time.